Hey guys, happy couple here. In this video, we're gonna go over some tips on how to make your wedding a little less expensive. As always, don't forget to subscribe. It is the red button right there. And hit the bell. Ding, ding. So when we got married, we actually had three separate weddings. And so we had to get a little bit creative on how to make it beautiful and spectacular and epic without being crazy expensive. One of the best ways that we actually found to cut some costs, instead of getting a full on caterer, we actually went and asked some of our favorite restaurants if they would do large takeout orders. And we actually set it up buffet style. So people were A, more full, B, the food honestly was way better it and was less awesome. See, and it saved so much money. So this is major pro tip, guys. The next point I'd say is, although a wedding is really a significantly magical moment in one's life, it doesn't have to just be the one vision. When we were talking about it, at first, we were talking about on a horse in Ireland with a castle on the <laughs> drapery. Just because there's drapery, I don't know. There's something Everywhere. going on. We actually reviewed it and we were like, okay, is that really what we want? What if we just make it a super magical moment with exactly what we want, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like with a- The drapery. What are the points that we don't want to change at all because they're super, super significant and important to us? And maybe what are the things that we wanted, you know, maybe even from a young age, but then kind of changed or it got more and more extravagant, you know, the more movies you saw, the more people you talked to, whatever. But like, let's get back to what actually is important and realize that this is a very amazing and important day, but also it doesn't then have to jeopardize your future because you have blown everything that you have on this one day, albeit a beautiful day. The other point I'd say is that there are a lot of people who are willing to help. You have these things called friends, and if friends are actually friends and they're actually awesome, a lot of them are gonna be willing to actually help you out. And so you don't necessarily have to be like overly extended on trying to get all this help and support. Another way that we found to save some money but still have an amazing effect is instead of doing lots of flowers everywhere, we spent the money on getting like a few key gorgeous, big, awesome. beautiful bouquets that were real statement pieces and put those in key places that really created that impact of <gasps> without having to have flowers everywhere because flowers add up very, very quickly yeah, not cheap. and then they die yep. very quickly. You want it to look absolutely spectacular and be breathtakingly magical, but you can do that cleverly. Yeah. Another way is we got a lot of lanterns and filled those with the little tea light candles and just put those everywhere. You can get inexpensive lanterns at Ikea or on Amazon or Target. whatever that look really, really, really gorgeous and create that fairy tale wedding look without spending gazillions of dollars. We're gonna actually have some more videos like this on some pro tips and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. If you think this will help anybody else, maybe they got a wedding coming up, maybe they're thinking about a wedding, maybe you want to hint, hint to somebody that there should be a wedding, <laughs> send them this video. We hope it helps. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.